today we're going to be talking about how to add and subtract fractions. Um, here's our standard. Our learning goal is that I can add and subtract fractions with unlike denominators by finding a common denominator. Let's try this first one together. We're going to take a look at our denominators. We have a 3 and a 4. Those are not common denominators, but not to worry. We know how to get them to have the same denominator. The first thing we want to do is list our multiples. We're going to start with 3. We know we have 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. Let's list our multiples for 4. We have 4, 8, 12, 16, 20. Just like we've done before, I like to list at least five multiples for each number to see if I've come across a, num a multiple that they have in common. As I'm going through, I notice that they both have 12. So we're going to try and change these fractions into having denominators of 12. Let's start with one third. We want to figure out what our fraction would be with a denominator of 12. Remember, this is when we go back and we ask ourselves, 3 times what gives me 12? We can either do our basic fact of 3 times 4 equals 12, or we can always go back and count 1, 2, 3, 4. It was the fourth multiple that we wrote down. 3 times 4 gives me 12, which we know we already have. Whatever I do to the bottom, we have to remember that we have to do it to the top. So we're also doing 1 times 4. 1 times 4 is 4. We're going to have to remember this fraction. Let's take a look at 3 fourths and convert that into a fraction with a denominator of 12. Here's when we ask ourselves, okay, 4 times what gives me 12? We can either ask ourselves the basic math fact, 4 times 3 equals 12, or we can always go back and count our multiples, 1, 2, 3. It was the third one. So whatever I'm doing to the bottom, though, I must do to the top. So 3 times 3 equals 9. Wonderful, I have my two fractions and they both have a denominator of 12. Am I finished? No, because we are adding these fractions together. Um, the fun part about adding and subtracting fractions is that our denominator will stay the same no matter what. So we know the denominator is going to be 12, and all we have to do is add our numerator. So we're adding 4 plus 9. We should know that 9 plus 4 is 13. We have our answer of 13 over 12. The bigger number is on top. That's okay. We just know that we have an improper fraction. We've worked with those before. Let's try another one. We have 2 fourths and 1 fifth that we're adding together. Aren't the same, so we have to find a multiple that they have in common. 4, 8, 12, 16, 20. Let's go with 5. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Do we see a multiple that they have in common? Definitely. We have 20 in common. Let's start with 2 fourths. We need to turn that into a fraction with a denominator of 20 because we know that that multiple works for both of our denominators. We're going to say 4 times what gives me 20. Basic fact of 4 times 5 or going back and counting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It was a fifth multiple we named. Whatever we do to the bottom, we have to do to the top. 2 times 5 is 10. We have our converted fraction. We've got to now start uh, convert 1 fifth. We know we want it to become a fraction with a denominator of 20. We say 5 times what gives me 20. We do the basic math fact of 5 times 4 equals 20, or we can always go back and count our multiples. 1, 2, 3, 4. What I drew to the bottom, I must do to the top. 1 times 4, we know is 4. We have 4 over 20. We have 10 over 20. But remember that we're not finished because we have to add them together. Remember that our denominator stays the same, so we just bring over 20. And then we're adding 4 plus 10. We know that 10 plus 4 is 14. Let's look at subtracting fractions with unlike denominators. We're going to start out the exact same way. We need to figure out a number that these two, a multiple that these two numbers share. So we're going to list our multiples. No difference. I'm going to start with 3. We have 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. Let's go to 6. We have 6, 12, 18, 
24. Do we see a multiple that they have in common? We sure do. We have 6 and 6. Let's start with 2 thirds. We want 2 thirds to turn into a fraction with a denominator of 6. So we have to say 3 times what gives me 6? We can do the basic math fact, which we know 3 times 2 equals 6. Or we can always go back and count. 1, 2. It was the second multiple we listed. Whatever I do to the bottom, though, I have to remember to do to the top. So since we multiplied 3 times 2, I have to multiply 2 times 2. And when I do that, I get 4. 4 over 6. Now let's take a look at 2 over 6. Lucky for us, we don't have to change this fraction since we wanted a denominator of 6 to begin with. So that one gets to say, stay the same. Are we finished? No. We have to look back and see what operation we are working with. It's subtraction. Just like addition, the sub when we subtract fractions, our denominator remains the same. So we know that that's 6. We can go ahead and bring it over. But we have to take a look at our numerators. We're doing 4 minus 2. When we subtract 4 minus 2, we're left with 2. Our final answer is 2 6. Let's try one last one together. Again, we have to make sure when we're subtracting fractions that our denominator is the same. So we're going to try and find a, num a multiple that they have in common. Let's start with 5. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Let's look at 6. 6, 12, 18, 24, 30. Do we see a number that they have in common? We see 30. So we know that we are trying to change 4 fifths into a fraction with a denominator of 30. We have to ask ourselves, 5 times what gives me 30? And we can either know that basic fact is 6, or we can go back and always count our multiples. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Whatever I do to the bottom, I must do to the top. So we're going to multiply 4 times 6. When I multiply 4 times 6, I get 24. Let's take a look at 3, 6. We need to turn that into a fraction with a denominator of 30. We can ask ourselves the basic fact of what is 6, or six times what gives me 30. Or we can always go back and count our multiples to figure it out. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We know that 6 times 5 gives us 30. And since we multiplied our denominator by 5, we know that we must multiply our numerator by the same number. When we do 3 times 5, we are left with 15. Am I finished? No way. We have to remember to go back and subtract. When I subtract, uh, when I'm subtracting fractions, remember that our denominator stays the same. So we can go ahead and bring that 30 over. But we have to figure out what 24 minus 15 is. Nine over 30 is our final answer. Try the next four problems on your own. We have this problem to do, with his, which is adding another addition problem. A subtraction problem, and one more subtraction problem. Best of luck, and I'll see you tomorrow.